This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is a Western blot? Answer, a Western blot is a technique used to detect specific proteins in a sample by separating the proteins via gel electrophoresis and transferring them to a membrane. Question, how is the sample protein separated in a Western blot? Answer, sample protein is separated via gel electrophoresis in a Western blot. Question, what is used to bind to the relevant protein in a Western blot? Answer, a labeled antibody is used to bind to the relevant protein in a Western blot. Question, what happens after the labeled antibody binds to the relevant protein in a Western blot? Answer, the next step is typically to detect the binding of the labeled antibody to the protein, which can be done using a chemiluminescent or fluorescent substrate. Question, what is the purpose of a Western blot? Answer, the purpose of a Western blot is to detect and identify specific proteins in a sample. Question, are there any variations of Western blotting? Answer, yes, variations of Western blotting include the use of different types types of gel electrophoresis, different types of membranes, and different detection methods. Question, what are the advantages of using Western blot? Answer, Western blot is a sensitive method for detecting specific proteins in a sample, and it is widely used in research and diagnostic applications. It is also relatively easy to perform and can be used to detect proteins of different sizes. Question, what are the limitations of using Western blot? Answer, the limitations of Western blot include the need for a large amount of sample, the potential for non-specific binding, and the fact that it can only detect one protein at a time. Additionally, the process can be time-consuming and requires specialized equipment. Question, how is the transfer of proteins from gel to membrane done in Western blot? Answer, the transfer of proteins from gel to membrane is done through a process called electroblotting or electrophoretic transfer. It involves applying an electric field across the gel and the membrane, which causes the proteins to move from the gel to the membrane. Question, are there different types of membranes that can be used in Western blot? Answer, yes, there are different types of membranes that can be used in Western blot, including nitrocellulose, PVDF, and nylon membranes. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages, and the choice of membrane depends on the intended application and the type of protein being detected. Question, how does the labeled antibody bind to the relevant protein in a Western blot? Answer, the labeled antibody binds to the relevant protein in a Western blot through a process called immunotection. The labeled antibody is typically a primary antibody that specifically recognizes and binds to the protein of interest. Question, what are the common types of detection methods used in Western blot? Answer, the common types of detection methods used in Western blot include chemiluminescence, fluorescent, and colorimetric detection methods. Chemiluminescence and fluorescent detection methods are more sensitive and quantitative, whereas colorimetric detection methods are less sensitive and qualitative. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.